What's up, everybody? 313J Mo, as usual. Something sadly happened to my video at the end, but I'm glad, though, because now I can talk about this into, in a separate video. So, why are people... Why are they ignoring the, the, the thing that LeBron could go to L.A. by himself? You know, why are people ignoring the fact that if we're not talking about Philly or Boston, even though I have my own opinions, but I'm not going to no. If we ain't talking about Philly or Boston, Lakers have the best young core in the league after Philly and Boston. I mean, they do. It's just facts. LeBron's always been playing with old ass niggas, and when he played with young guys, they were garbage. Well, these young guys over here aren't aren't so garbage. DeMarcus Cousins was in talks with the Lakers, so maybe LeBron and Boogie goes. And we know Boogie is still hurt, so he won't be able to play half the season, man. Look, I'm going to say this right here. I don't give a flying fuck if Boogie is never the same again. He better than Kevin Love. And that's not a disrespect to Kevin Love because Kevin Love showed up in the finals. But just, you know what's funny? Kyrie and LeBron showed up last year. They, they got they lost. This year, Kevin Love and LeBron showed up. They lost. Point is, be Golden State, you got to have three guys or four guys that show up. Golden State, Clay showed up for a couple games. Steph showed up for three games. KD showed up for, what, three games? You know? That's that, but I'm taking DeMarcus Boogie. I'm taking Boogie <laughs> over Love, even with the ACL. So maybe it's Boogie and Brown. But, like, why can't LeBron just go there by himself? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you the facts. Um, If you watch college basketball, you know about who Josh Hart is because he was, uh, the, like, the player of the year when Villanova won the championship. Josh Hart is a solid 3 and D player. He can, he can shoot the three. He can play defense. He can score at the rim. He has his man body because he was a senior. He he's a good player. I, oh, I would definitely take him on our squad on the Pistons. Oh no, he's a good player. Like he can really play D. He can really shoot. And he, like I said, like he came from Villanova, so he's a smart player. He's actually a point guard, but you know in this league he's more of a shooting guard. But that still, you know, you have him. Uh, I think they just signed Zubak. Zubak isn't special, but he's not utter garbage. You got Kuzma, 16 points per game, a, a great scorer off the bench. You got Julius Randle, 16 points per game, and he really was the best scorer on that whole team. You got Brandon Ingram, 16, 5, and 4. The kid that uh, a lot of us believe is going to be a superstar. I definitely believe he will be a superstar someday. I'm a, like, I just, unless something happens to him badly, I, his upside is just too high. Guys like that become superstars. But look. Um, then you got Alonzo, like, come on, bro. Good defender. Gonna fill up the stat sheet 10, 7, and 7. And he's the facilitator that LeBron's always been asking for and begging for. And look, this is this is another thing. Like, I just don't know if some of y'all know basketball. But you know, LeBron can play with Lonzo. I don't understand that. Lonzo is not Ben Simmons. What I mean is he doesn't dominate the ball like Ben Simmons. That's why I don't think LeBron and Ben Simmons is a good mix because Ben Simmons dominates the ball as much as LeBron. It's wild when Joel Embiid went out and Ben Simmons had to get the ball more. This team still was playing great because Ben Simmons, he, well, Embiid out, he got everything he wanted. So, but Lee Alonzo, his usage rate on his team was low as fuck. It, his usage rate was like 8th or like 10th. His usage rate wasn't in the top 5 on the entire team, but that's because... Unlike Ben Simmons, that's what I'm trying to tell people. Ben Simmons is like, he's just a very good fucking passer, man. Like, he's just very fucking good. A little flashy. But his passing isn't necessarily, like, a complete offense. It's just, like, it's more Ben Simmons can pass, but he's also a really good player. It's not – I don't think passing makes Ben Simmons Ben Simmons. I think it's the total package with Ben Simmons. But with Lonzo, what makes him special – Makes him a transcendent player is his transcendent pass. Like, his passing, that's what I say he's a better passer than Ben Simmons. His passing is a complete off. Like, it's an offense. It's not just driving and kicking to the open guy. It's an offense. 
LeBron's passing is an offense, but it don't really be working like that. But my point is, that's why his usage rate is so low. Because <clears throat> when he passes, he moves the flow at all. I wish people could, like, watch and we could sit down and I could... I might have to make a video and I break this down and analyze it for y'all guys because I'm watching the games. Like, when when people say he, you know, might dribble up the court and just pass, he's not just, first of all, you do what the coaches tell you to do. The coaches tell him to dribble up, pass, and go over there in the corner. That's what they tell you. You do what them tell him. I've seen games, coaches didn't tell Lonzo to do anything. Just let him beat him. And then he got the fucking triple-double. Then he won the game. But when you try to a player like that, you just have to let them do what they want with the offense. Like that's why Lou Walton is a fucking like terrible coach. Y'all thought Stan Van Gundy was bad last year? Oh my god, Lou Walton was horrible last year. Like, like Lakers fans, I feel bad for y'all because we have Van Gundy and y'all got Walton. But it's an off. It's basically an offense. It reminds me of the Spurs because the Spurs have this free flowing extra pass offense. When Lonzo got to the Lakers, they started making extra passes. People forget when Lonzo was on the Lakers and he was actually healthy. Health is a, is an issue. Um, oh, that injury that they released about Lonzo is bullshit. He got that in, he had that injury at the end of the season. He's already healed up. Like I was telling Mondo and Ray Moore, my my theory is the Lakers released that because they don't want to get rid of Lonzo. A lot of people think Lakers want to get rid of Lonzo. They don't. Like I told y'all, they would get rid of Lonzo for Kawhi Leonard or Anthony Davis. Yeah, they'll trade Lonzo and they'll trade Kuzma and Brandon Ingram too. But they don't they don't have any any wish to like legit get rid of Lonzo because they know his potential. Magic definitely knows his potential. They like this kid, and this kid, like I said, he's the leader of Showtime. Unless Kawhi Leonard or Anthony Davis are in Lakers jerseys, he's not going anywhere. And this little report lets me think that maybe the Lakers put that out there so he could they could take him out of trade talks. I don't know. They Lonzo could still be traded, but even if they do trade him, Kuzma's leaving too. And so is Ingram. So it's not just on Lonzo. Like a lot of people, why are y'all trying to get Lonzo out of LA? The nigga was born to be a Laker. Nigga name literally his initials is LA Ball. Like he was born he was born for that. He's gonna stay with the Lakers, man. Unless he gets traded for Kawhi Leonard or Anthony Davis. He's never gonna leave that Lakers uniform and he can play perfect with LeBron James. I just told y'all. His usage rate is extremely low because Brandon Ingram and Julius Randle, they bring the ball up a lot. And they the offense runs through them sometimes. But his usage rate is low. So this LeBron and Lonzo's not gonna have the ball. LeBron's not gonna have the ball. Look like I said, Lonzo usage rate is one of the lowest on the team. <clears throat> now it would increase with LeBron. I'm telling you, they would work perfect together, just like Chris Paul and James Harden did. Well, you have to I'm not James Harden not pass first, but James Harden's like LeBron. In a sense. Even though LeBron's pass first, I feel like him and Harden are score first, but pass first. LeBron's more pass, but it don't make sense what I just said. But you know what I mean? They they can score all day long, but they love to pass the ball. And then you put a player like that with Chris Paul who can score and he he loves to he's a floor general, as Stephen A likes to call him. It works. Lonzo is clear if you watch the Lakers, like if y'all niggas don't watch the Lakers, I'm almost tell y'all to stop talking about these niggas. Cause you didn't watch. I actually watched watched the Sixers. Sadly, I watched the Celtics because Kyrie's there. I watched OKC. You know, I watched the, the fucking Cavs, and I watched some Warriors games. I, I, it wasn't a point of really watching the Warriors. <laughs> you already know why. Um, I watched the games. He's a floor general. You put a floor general with LeBron James. Now LeBron James doesn't have to assist the ball. All that, all that assistant load is off of LeBron. Now he's not. I don't have to get everybody involved all day because Lonzo's doing it. Now he can just score. And score, I remember I said way before I even knew that they would ever play together. Back in the summer, I'm like, dog, if he went there, Lonzo and Kuzma take a lot of pressure off of him. And Brandon Ingram and LeBron can just score. He doesn't have to assist the ball because Lonzo's there. He's the facilitator. And when that happens, you it frees you up to score. And let's not forget, Lonzo can play defense. Like, he's a good defender. At the point guard position. Like, that's facts. And like I said, what's wrong with this Lakers team when you add LeBron James? You still got Julius Randle. You still got Kuzma. You still have Brandon Ingram. How is this a bad squad? Outside, I mean, man, 
I'm taking Brandon Ingram or Kevin Love right now. And I'm not attacking Kevin Love. I, I really like him as a player. It's just he's soft, dog. <laughs> I can't. Brandon Ingram isn't tough, but he'll drive to the rim with everything. Like when his rookie season, he was driving to the rim all skinny and boned up, getting put on his ass, but he kept driving. That's the kind of player I want. We all know Kuzma from Flint. We know Kuzma got that dog in him. Oh, and you know Julius Randle got that dog in him. So, kind of funny. The guys who's supposed to end up being the best players, Lonzo and Kuz, uh, not Lonzo and Brandon Ingram, like those are the guys who have the highest potential. They're the guys that's not the raw wild guys. This is the guys who, who like Kuz and Julius. Those are the raw rah guys. But, you know, I'm out of here, man. I'm done talking. But, like, this Lakers team is way better than the Cavs roster has been since, besides Kyrie and LeBron and maybe Love. This, this Lakers roster is way better in every aspect. Brandon Ingram over J.R. Smith. Lonzo over George Hill. Uh, Kuzma over Hood or whoever the fuck you want to put there. Randall over whoever you want to put there besides LeBron James. Like, they, they, they're they a talented team. If you don't realize, their two best players were injured for more than half the season. If they were healthy, they would have won 40 games. They won 35. And Lonzo Ingram missed 24 and like 25 games apiece. Those are your best players. That's a lot, bro. And Luke Walton was losing them games left. And, I mean, it was so many games. They literally lost because of Luke Walton. Better coach. That's what was like without LeBron and anything I wanted to see the Lakers this year because I think they would have been able to win 40 or 41 games. In the West, yes. they. they people forget. They beat all the best teams in the, in the league. Uh, only thing they didn't beat was Golden State, but they took Golden State to overtime twice. So, like, they gave Golden State everything. That's why I'm like, point is, I think LeBron, it's very possible he could come here by himself. He doesn't need another superstar here. It's it's talent here. Not here, nigga. This is Detroit. Talent there in fucking weak-ass L.A. <laughs> this is Detroit, nigga, my city. But y'all know what I'm saying. It's, it's plenty of talent in L.A. And it's po- very possible that Boogie Cousins can come with him, not that Paul George is off the table. And don't y'all, well, since I'm a Kobe, Kobe lover, I would love to see what LeBron would do in Kobe's situation. We all know they're two different kinds of players. One's a pass-first player, one's a shoot-everything player, but y'all know Kobe's my favorite player. But remember when Kobe didn't really have a squad? Now, I would say this squad outside of Gasol and when Bynum and Odom were in their primes, because people forget Will Bynum, not Will Bynum, Andrew Bynum was a fucking monster. and He was like a top four, three center in the league at a point, and Lamar Odom before the crack was a beast. And Paul Gasol, they had a little squad. Still had D fish, but to me this will be a this will be the equivalent. LeBron with a, with these young guys, not really much, and Kobe won the championship. Of course, there were no Warriors, there were no Rockets when Kobe won the championship. I'm not diminishing it because he he had to go through the West to get to Boston. I'm not diminishing in the match. I'm not diminishing nothing. What I'm saying is, it's much tougher now. But hey, LeBron's a little bit more in his prime, more fresher. And like I said, the players are a little bit better. Like Kuzma, Ingram, Hanzo, Julius. Like, those are good fucking players. Like, let's not bullshit. They are. You put them with LeBron, now they get all these open shots. Now him and Lonzo creates all these open shots. You put some coaching around them. Brandon Ingram continuously gets better. Julius Randle still the daughter he is. I don't, I'm not going to say no excuses because the Warriors, I will, the Warriors not an excuse you just lost. The Warriors are there, but this team should be good if LeBron goes there by himself. Is all I'm saying. What, what he did with Cleveland garbage ass roster, this team should be good. And those are the players I mentioned. There's other players on the Lakers roster that are like okay, better than the Cavs. The Cavs roster was so bad. Besides Larry Nance, <laughs> Larry Nance, Le- LeBron, Rodney Hood finally got some playing time, showed his upside, but the roster was just garbage. Um. This video is way too fucking long, but I think it's very possible LeBron goes to L.A. regardless. He does just where he wants to be. And if he doesn't, he's going back to Cleveland for a year. Redo this shit next year, he'll probably go with Kawhi. And then we can see what this Laker young quarters really is. You know? Well, uh, that's that, y'all, man. It's 313 J-Mo. Let me know what you uh think about this. I'm out of here. Lions video will be the next one that I drop.